344% rent hike. Neil has been paying $1,800 a month rent, but his landlady recently informed him she was raising the rent to $8,000 a month. I mean that the, the rent is rising. Minimum wage is the same. No parking. Always if you get a parking driving. ticket, nigga, that's a, that's a whole check right there. Rent is high, food is high, tickets is high, minimum wage is the same. You need to work three jobs just to live in a in a in a one bedroom in zombie land. Within just 10 years, rent in San Francisco nearly tripled while the minimum wage remained the same, leading to a mass exodus of native San Franciscans and a mass influx of what are colloquially known as tech bros. This created quite a few problems. <laughs> For one, many of these tech bros had no cultural or family connection to the city. Plus, they weren't really there to stay. For example, the average residency for a Twitter or Facebook employee in San Francisco is 9 to 12 months, and many of them were bussed in and out of the city by private charter buses, leading to a mass protest movement. San Francisco, not for sale! Known as the tech bus protests. These people angry at what they see as growing income inequality in the city. Big surprise, the protests didn't stop tech from taking over the city. San Francisco experienced the most intense gentrification in American history. Black population shrunk from 14.5% to 6% of the city, and the poverty line rose so high that households making under $117,000 per year are considered to be low income. We can't afford to live here. I'm born and raised here and I can't even afford to live here, but I do. So you could have a job in the city, but you need other forms of income. So you need to hustle up something. You need to be doing three or four other things to survive in this city. You cannot just have one job. It's impossible. Unless you're like a lawyer, you work in tech, or you would trick.